Victor Fiquer, 1935. March 15, 1963 was the last federal inmate executed in the United States before Timothy McVeigh and the last person put to death in the state of Iowa. While at the time the news media paid little attention to Victor Fiquer or his execution, McVeigh's execution sparked renewed media interest in Fiquer. Background. Fiquer was a drifter, native to the state of Michigan. In the summer of 1960, Fiquer arrived in Dubuque, Iowa, renting a room at a decrepit boarding house. Soon after arriving, Fiquer phoned Dr. Edward Bartels, claiming that the woman needed medical attention. When Dr. Bartels arrived, Fiquer kidnapped him. Fiquer killed Bartels in Illinois with a single gunshot to the head. A few days later, Fiquer was arrested in Montgomery, Alabama, after trying to sell Dr. Bartels' car. It is believed that Fiquer had chosen Dr. Bartels, a 34-year-old father of two, at random from the local Yellow Pages. Authorities believe that Fiquer had kidnapped and killed Dr. Bartels in order to gain access to any drugs that Bartels may have carried to treat patients. Because Fiquer crossed state lines, federal charges were filed against Fiquer. In his defense, Fiquer claimed that a drug addict from Chicago, whom Fiquer met in Dubuque, had actually murdered Bartels. Fiquer claimed that he killed the drug addict and dumped his body in the Mississippi River. However, authorities could not find any evidence that this other person ever existed. Fecker was tried and convicted in federal court for these crimes. He was sentenced to death by hanging. Fecker submitted an appeal, which was denied. At that point, only President John F. Kennedy could have commuted the death sentence. Iowa's governor, Harold Hughes, along with Fecker's attorney, contacted Kennedy to request clemency for Fecker. Kennedy thought that the crime was so brutal that he denied the request. Fecker's last days. Fecker on death row at Fort Madison. Victor Fieger was held at the federal penitentiary at Leavenworth, Kansas. He was brought back to Iowa because Leavenworth was not set up at the time to perform executions. On March 5, 1963, Fieger was brought to the Iowa State Penitentiary at Fort Madison, Iowa and placed in the state's death row to await execution. He remained there for the next 10 days until his execution was carried out. He spent those 10 days quietly. Guards felt he was a model prisoner. March 15, 1963 On March 14, 1963, Fieger sat in an all-night vigil with a Catholic priest. Between 4 and 5 in the morning, Fieger was given a new suit for his execution. Two guards escorted Fieger to the gallows. At dawn on March 15, Victor Fieger was hanged for murdering Dr. Bartels. The body was removed by a local funeral home. Victor Fieger's death certificate listed fracture cervical spinal column as the cause of death. Fecker was buried in an unmarked grave in Fort Madison. He was buried in a second new suit that was provided for his burial. In the suit pocket was an olive pit from Fecker's last meal, which consisted only of a single olive. The Aftermath Victor Fecker would be the last person to be executed in Iowa. After Fecker's death, it would be nearly 40 years until the next federal execution, that of Timothy McVeigh. That execution was carried out in Terre Haute, Indiana, in 2001. Iowa abolished capital punishment for all crimes in 1965. Over the years, several attempts had been made to reinstate the death penalty in Iowa. This became a major issue in 1994 election, as a young girl had recently been murdered, as well as 2005 after the murder of another young girl. However, the legislature declined to reinstate the death penalty. Current Iowa governor, Tom Vilsack, a Roman Catholic, has made it clear that he would veto legislation that would restore the death penalty, even if it would only be on a limited basis. As of 2006, Iowa remains one of 14 states that does not use capital punishment.